Hello everyone, today I'd like to introduce you a new functionality in OSM Release 2. This is the SDN Assist for the lake connectivity with EPA. And I think this is very interesting, especially for telco deployments, since it enables the full automation and chaining of high performance BNFs. This, for example, will allow the fully automation deployment of uh, PEs, BRASIs, CPCs, or any other. PNF that requires an underlay connectivity. In OSM Release 1, uh, we had something similar, but it was only functional in the case of OpenBeam. In this release, uh, what we did was that OSM was requesting to OpenBeam to make a deployment, and OpenBeam was able to communicate with SDN controllers and to provide the SDN connectivity. But this was only functional in the case of OpenBeam, since it had the capability to talk to the, to the SDN controllers. Now in OSM Release 2, it's OSM itself, the one that is able to communicate with the SDN controllers. In this way, OSM instructs to the Beam to make the deployment, and at the same time, it instructs to the SDN controller to create the underlay connectivity. Using an enhanced platform awareness beam, in combination with the assist for underlying connectivity, provides a fully automation of high performance scenarios. This, for example, allows to deploy using OpenStack and to provide the underlying connectivity in a fully automated manner. Today, I will demonstrate this deploying over a Red Hat OSP10 and using Floodlight as the SDN controller. The network service I'll use for this demonstration is this one that is composed of two BNFs. These are two DPDK examples, the packet gen, and I'll use them to demonstrate that we can achieve full line rate bidirectional. Each of the BNFs have two interfaces. One is the management one that I'll be using using floating IP to access to the to the BNFs, and the other one is a pass-through interface that uh, will get the connectivity through the SDN assist. In case you don't know packet gen, this is uh, one of the DPDK examples. You can check it in, in their website. And the image I'll be using for, for, the, for the demo, I will make it available that you can create it in your own. It's just applying you into cloud where I install DPDK and also install the packet gen example. So the first thing I want to do is to connect to the OSM machine. To the arrow module. And to show you where we have the information about the SDN. Okay, so this is the controller that we'll be using in our example. It's a floodlight. And if we check now the data center, The USB 10. Okay, in the configuration, we say that we are using that SDN controller I just showed you. And we are also saying that the pool, the name of the pool where the uh, SROB and pass through interfaces are defined is this one. And I'm also using floating IPs, so the management interfaces get automatically a floating IP. And that's basically everything I wanted to show you about the configuration in the Arrow module. Uh, and want also to show you OpenFlow list. OpenFlow is just a small utility that we have to check against the SDN controller. That right now we don't have any flow installed in the in the switch that is controller this SDN. And once we make the deployment, I'll show you again how the, the OpenFlow rules were installed. Also, I want to show you that we don't have any running instance right now. Okay. Okay, so we are good to to proceed to, to make the deployment. Okay, I'll show you in the catalog briefly the NSD and the BNFD. OK, 
Okay. These are the two BNFs connected to both the management and the data plane uh, networks. And if we go to the BNF, these are the BNFs that uh, have, as I said, a management interface and a PCI pass-through interface. So let's proceed with the instantiation. Okay. Deploying over our BIM. The management network. And also I'm going to include an SSH key. Okay, this is going to take a few seconds to, to get deployed. I'll show you that uh, we can access using the console, but as uh, I didn't create, I said before, it's just a plain uh, Ubuntu cloud, so I don't have a user and a password. I'll show you that I'm able to access uh, through the console uh, using the OSM uh, GUI, but uh, we will be accessing to the, to the BNFs using SSH. All right, so it should be about to, to get instantiated. If we go to the beam, maybe they are getting deployed right now. Okay, they are building. Okay, they are active. And yes, I can see that they're active right now. And if I go to check the flows, okay, I see that there are two flows that are showing that everything that gets in the interface 46 gets out in the interface 20 and the other way around. These two ports uh, belong to the switch and these are the ports that are connected to the ports in the in the bnfs to the pass-through interfaces so now i'm gonna show you the console access okay as i said i don't have a user and a password so i will be using ssh let's get the information about the floating ips that we got Okay, this is the first floating IP. No, okay, and the second one. Now let's search to the machines. Okay, and uh, the image is prepared to automatically automatically load the hue pages and also load the appropriate driver, the PK driver in the pass-through interface. So it's ready to just start the application. Okay, so both of them started to send and receive. And as you can see, we are achieving bidirectional full line rate. This is thanks to an EPA deployment, and as you could see, uh, the underlay connectivity was established automatically. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I also hope that you are deserving to try this functionality on your own.